today's lecture of is the continuation of the previous lecture previous lecture and it was about the pictogram and the bar graph with the scale pictogram we have done now in this topic uh, today's topic we will do chart and the bar graph or the bar chart so uh, a website is given or uh, the youtube is given it is for the the tally is there which uh, you will see the information from there actually the data is given in the form of table and says that ellen keeps a tally of the favorite colors of the group of children ellen is a girl she keeps the record of different student or the different child and the number of child like different color so red color is liked by 15 students and the frequency shows the number of student and the blue color is liked by the 20 students and the green is liked by 5 students so the frequency is known by you that it is the number of student and the color is uh, well defined by uh, well well defined but the tally is the unique for you so if i say it is a vertical line it shows one the one one student or the one children and the one another line next to this it become two students and it is three student and it is four students because the four vertical line shows the four students but for the five students i just make a cross from first from the last to the first one it means it shows the five students similarly if i write one more line here it becomes six student it becomes seven eight student nine student and when i make one more line here so it become 10 students 5 plus 5 it is the one way of represent the data or the information and why it is useful it is described in this youtube channel if you want to uh, listen uh, it is very much useful to you and as if you don't want to uh, uh, view, th uh, view this uh, youtube it doesn't matter because this information is enough at your stage as a grade 4 now what can represent the uh, data on a pictogram so this is the data the information the data mean the data is information and the information is about the color like by the students this is the information the 15 student like red color and the 20 student like blue and the 5 student like green so this is all information and this is called data the same information and the data can be represented by the pictogram we have done this in our previous lecture so the and the, and the key is there when a pictogram is there so you must have a key there and the key is show that one face the face is there represent five children so one face is of five children so five children is here and plus 5 and plus 5 so red color is like by 5 5 10 and 5 15 15 student just like here in the frequency this information is translated into pictogram and the blue color is like by 20 students so one face is uh, is of five children so there must be four four faces so it is 5 and the plus 5 and plus 5 and then plus 5 so 5 5 10 5 15 and 5 20 so blue is like by 20 student and similarly here is and the green is 5 only one face here so we add and we can find the information or the we can we can reply the answer of the question given by just adding the picture so i am not going to describe it comprehensively because we have done this before now move to the second question it is about the bar chart and this is the bar chart and it is made with the help of the frequency table this is the table and the frequency table frequency table and information table so whatever you call it doesn't matter but the two column shows one column shows the type of the fruit and other column shows the frequency and the question says fozi counts the number of fruit he has left in his fruit stall he record the data using the table for this is the fruit and at the end of the day he record the uh, he record the information as how much uh, fruit left and the apple is left 30 orange left 15 mango left 25 and the papaya left 5 so all the information can be translate into bar chart and bar chart is like this the apple and it is information can be represented by the rectangle so the we write apple here and the orange and the mango and the papaya is there and on the horizontal and the vertical 
the number of lines as are represent the number of frequency or the number of apples so one bar, one line horizontal line shows five fruit out of five fruit so when it touch the apple it means five apple and if it, it touch the orange it means five orange so 5 10 15 20 25 and 30 respectively so apple is left 30 so we make a rectangle with 30 it means the 30 apples is left similarly oranges is the information given is as a 15 here as a rectangle is the height of the rectangle is 15 or the frequency is 15 so it means the 15 oranges are left Similarly, mango shows a rectangle with the height of 25. It means the 25 mangoes are left, same as in table. And the papaya is left 5, 5 because it is the smallest one and the one line is shows the 5 fruit and the fruit is papaya. So, all the information in the table given can be represented by the bar chart and bar chart is this information. This is the question is in your uh, assignment is there and you can see a bar chart there so uh, when i do it for your convenience so that you can solve the question comfortably and these are the question as an example how many apples and oranges does fozzy has left so we have to add apple and oranges so the apples is 30 and the 30 and the oranges so we add them so it is 30 and the plus 15 so it become 45 so 45 is left altogether and how many fever papaya then mangoes are left so the, we have to find the fever mean less how many less apple papaya then ma mango are left so we have to find the difference so how much is the difference this is the difference we can count it 5 10 15 and 20 or the 25 minus 5 is become 20, 25 minus 5, 25 is the uh, mango and the 5 is papaya and how many fever, 20 fever. So 5, so if I add 5 to the papaya, it become 25. So there are 20 fever papayas, then mango left. So quantity is, the difference of the quantity is 20. So it is all about this video and if any problem you are writing comment, I will reply you inshallah. Thank you very much.